All right, uh, today we're going to demonstrate for you a Cincinnati Millicron healed uh, automatic ID grinder, universal ID grinder, um, 273A model. This is a pretty well known model in its day. Uh, the 370A universal, this means that uh, you can swivel your headstock. Uh, you have a table here that you can go in and out. You have um, <clears throat> you have your dresser back here that comes down to dress your grinding wheel. And there's some automatic fixturing back here that will allow that to come down uh, when you want to dress. You also have a safety guard in front of the grinding wheel when it's in the park position, which it's in right now. It's all the way to the right side. The headstock is stopped moving. Now when I go and bring this thing um, back in, that head will lift up and the table comes in and goes between your stops and you start grinding. And if I want to stop this cycle, I come out with that and that'll go down uh, so I could reach in here and not cut my arm on the, on the, um, on the grinding wheel. That's so automatic. You can just have this running all the time. And now I can show you how we can slow this down or speed it up. This is variable speed. Have a nice guard that goes over this. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know. My hose was stuck in there. So we have a guard that goes over that. This is just from the coolant. Uh, so that's what you got there. Let me close that. Let me open that up again. And this is adjustable. You can move that in, move that out a little bit. Here we turn up our speed. Now this machine is currently wired for 220 volts. Uh, has on it as accessories, uh, a sign bar over here, and also uh, the fixed stop, adjustable fixed stop with a kind of a turret. You can turn to different. Uh, positions on there to come into different uh, depths on your on your workpiece if you've got different internal uh, steps or di diameters. Now this is currently got a 20,000 RPM redhead spindle uh, that goes along with the grinder. Uh, if you want something different than that, you have to talk to your salesperson. We have other spindles here at Machinery Values uh, that's that fit this machine. Spindles are a lesser RPM. 10,000, uh, 8,000, something like that. All right, so one of the things about the heels are that they are um, a floating way. This way, uh, this thing has got to weigh several thousand pounds right here, and I can, I can move it with my thumb and my forefinger. Uh, that's just the way they are when they're, when they're set up right and they're working right. Um, let's So as we feed, as we go, we feed. So this is actually your in-feed. Uh, you, would, you would use this to come in and moving, you're actually moving your spindle in and out with this hand wheel here. And this whole slide is also uh, floated on a, on a uh, bed of oil, a hydrostatic way. Adjust here how much it feeds each time. And you got a fine feed dial if you want to feed this thing in by hand. We'll back it off a little bit. You have a fixed stop here. You have a, a thing so that you can adjust so you can only feed up. You can't go full uh, in case you didn't want to accidentally take too much material off. You can adjust this. This here is another, uh, if you wanted to feed on both sides of the workpiece. If you see right now, we're only feeding when we go in not feeding when it goes out. As you open this up all the way to the end of its, uh, its travel, then you're going to get to feed on both sides. And uh, so we got a three-jaw buck chuck mounted on the grinder, and along with it comes a four-jaw buck chuck uh, that will fit right on there. So that's about it. That's the Heald 273A, uh, wired for 220 volts. Thank you very much.